burgers on wheels, yeah? <laughs> burgers on wheels? <laughs> Okay, 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 Bob. Blaine, you have to be here to feel it. The two-wheel culture is it's just crazy over here. Everything is two wheels. Oh, overhauling the bike right now. Nikki's, here comes Nikki's friend. Hello, baby. Want to come say hello to us? checked into this this cabin the cottage in the middle of the woods with environments with my steamer but actually who knows maybe while we're here we my two babies my two babies are here together we met up with Sean we just uh, just rented uh, scooters we're gonna tour the area so things have their own pace over here. Uh, picked up the bikes and uh, we come to start the bike and zero fuel, zero fuel. So they went to give us, uh, and it's probably st usually standard. You get the bike pretty much close to close to the reserve and you, the first gas station you find, you pump some gas in, so fill up. The girls went to change clothes a little bit and then I'm gonna hit the road. Thunderbird, 350X, Royal Enfield, all the rest are. Little moped scooters, what is that, 200? Now, this is the definition of a workhorse. Look at this Royal Enfield, 350. So these, as you see, these are the typical road conditions. A lot of the roads are like this. And obviously, everybody here rides in flip-flops and shorts. I'm gonna uh, ride these, these jeans, these pants, all the way. Ah, I've driven one like this already. Here. And uh, Nikki's gonna be with me. So close to and like everybody, the most important thing over here is the horn. Everywhere you go, you cut here up stop sign. Cars pass you. Anything you do, like you can hot. Have any clue where we're at? Yeah, I think we need to keep going straight. Yeah. Okay, we figured out the concept. It's go as slow, go as slow as you can, wherever you can, hit the horn, and look for cars trying to uh, run you over and bikes from behind, and you're good. So whenever you're passing somebody or being passed, just hit the horn. Just hit the horn. Opa, opa. Beep. It's like the intro. It's a balloon. No, it's Sean. So it's a bit of a lot. Can I ask you now? 
walking on the beach, guys. I'm like, we rode with the, oh, it's like 95 degrees out. It's beautiful, but it's hot. And the jeans are, the, the pants are actually not terrible. I'm not sweating in them too much. And mind you, they have two layers. The outer layer is, uh, is the denim and the inner is the Kevlar. So, my balls are not sweating, let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but what's the best thing is spending this time with my, be my beautiful daughter. Flawless transition. Yeah. <laughs> Your boss, <laughs> We're uh, in Anjuna, it's called Anjuna Beach. And it's, it's beautiful. It's very rough. I don't know, you guys, if you've never been to India. It's, it's totally different. It's very rough. It's very rugged. It smells, the views, the the environment, the people. Here comes Santa. Hey, Santa. Hello. Santa, you look like Santa. Yes. <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> you want a sandwich? No, I'm okay. Thank you. Happy holiday. Yeah. That's her tattoos. My daughter's tattoos. And like, go is a place for tattoos. That's a workhorse. Simply said, a workhorse. That's the Royal Enfield Classic 350. It's a new bike, relatively speaking, yeah? The reference I have is like 25, 30 years ago where I was was here with, with my wife. And if, if looking at the infrastructure, not much has changed, that's the truth. Uh, not much has changed, as you can see the roads. What is is really significant and is visible is that everybody has a smartphone. Smartphone made a sh such a shortcut in the infrastructure. No need for lines to be run uh, underground. Everything is over the air. So that is a very, very big uh, jump and leap. Moving information from one place to the other. Isn't it fun to go shopping, clothes shopping with, uh, with your daughters, right? Wow, how exciting. Wow, how exciting. Love these dresses. How <laughs> much? Negotiating is a key thing over here. You, uh, you gotta negotiate your price. There is no rule, rule of thumb of whatever price you think you'll get, drop another 50%. Sean is uh, the top, is our top uh, bargain uh, lady over here. So I, she got me a great Hawaiian shirt. Three dollars. Three dollars are gonna rock it tomorrow, you'll see. So Nikki, di Nikki didn't uh, pack uh, the right shoes, so we're getting her some sandals, but she's, oh sorry, she's vegan, and so she wants the leather, so it's called vegetable leather, I don't know what that means, it's non-animal, it's fake leather, so. I like, you like, so what is, a, what is vegetable leather? You have, um, you have other Leather? This handmade, he makes it at home by himself. Made by machine, so all the vegetables, uh, all the uh, vegetable tanning, everything is in uh, vegetables. It's, it's artificial leather, you can see. <laughs> no video. Uh, <laughs> this is the sign, it. Sandy. My name is Sandy. I'm Sandy. Sandy. Sandy tattoos. Is it the sign? Is it the day? Is it the Sandy day? Tattoos. Sandy tattoos. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm Sandy. Sandy, Sandy, you're in the video. Sandy, <laughs> Sandy. Love trash. Trying to show you a little downtown uh, action going on over here with uh, the little motorcycles, scooters, right here. The little cars, the big cows, the baby cow over there. The cow, right? And the herd over there. <laughs> See me honking at them before? Typical India. Yeah. They walked into the street. Yeah, it's crazy, huh? We're driving, right, riding here is crazy. It's like, it's life-threatening. We haven't gone anything over, I think, 40. 30, like over 40 kilometers per hour. That's like 25 miles per hour. And that is actually too fast. Now, Next to a burgers on wheels, yeah? <laughs> burgers on wheels? <laughs> okay, 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 Baba. It's Christmas, and this is a Christmas party on Goa Beach with the girls. Goa, India, Christmas, Christmas Eve actually, parties all, all night long over here. Listen guys, I have, using the horn over here, 
it, the beep is not an It's not just a recommendation, it's wild. It's just like it's brought on the brakes, you have the, you have the beep, you have the hold. That you're coming behind him, in front of you, all around you. I hit the horn like every two. Every, wait a second. Every two seconds, literally every two seconds, you hit the horn. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, slow. Oh, shit. He's trying to kill me. Okay. <laughs> This is the, the lounging, the bar area, I mean the restaurant area looking, overlooking this beautiful natural forest garden or anything and it's like it has everything. Great food. Merry Christmas guys. <laughs> it's two days in, we're checking out of this beautiful uh, resort level it's not a typical India hotel at all. It's a lodge, it's a high-end lodge. You know, first days in India, we want it to be a soft landing. So we're checking out, moving to a new place. Just wanna show you a little bit of the, the beautiful place. Mojiago, that's the name of the place. Highly recommended. Really gorgeous. Sorry, Mojigao. <laughs> I've been getting, I've been getting so uh, we're check we're checking out. We're checking out. So I wanted to show you this beautiful place, really inside a inside a forest. Really beautiful, relaxful. Look at this color. Look at this color of this Royal Enfield. You're gonna be seeing a lot of Royal Enfields over here. The Interceptor 650, the biggest one they have. Guys, we just finished, uh, you know, uh, our stay in Anjuna. We're moving over to a different place, not too far, and it's got a different vibe uh, to it. So finally, in a taxi taking us, I just wanted to show you. I'm sitting in the in the front seat. Just wanted to show you uh, what driving in the streets is like, pretty much. It's like really nerve wracking for me to sit on the left side where the driver sits, obviously. <laughs> That's how they do the artwork. This is where we're staying tonight. They got a very nice sunset. Can you see it? There, that's the sun right there. <laughs> Let's eat some food. Thank you very much for doing the job. <laughs> okay, here's our next guest. <laughs> Current situation. And having a smoothie and some food. On the floor. I just want to show you what the floor looks like. Leave things they don't want in the lobby of the buildings, and then you just take. So someone left that, and I was like, "Oh, it's cool," but it was like a, it was clearly like a tank top, a workout. Hey there, cow. Hey there, cow. How you doing?
That's the local uh, soccer field. This is the only Harley I've seen over here, like a big, big boar Harley, and it belongs to one of the guests. Look at this cool spices uh, place. You got all kinds of papers. You got chili papers, you got black paper, you got white paper. Custom, custom making this belt, this wet leather belt. And he works, does this himself. Handmade over here. Everything is handmade. I think I'm gonna get me something. We're just on the beach in Arambol. And it's just like I said before, it's the art of wasting time. So we just ordered some Chat masala, uh, French fries we call it. This is amazing seasoning that tastes like like boiled eggs, pretty much. Really good, really flavorful. Well, that's, that's really, solid. I don't think really good. Show you a local uh, motorcycle shop on the other side of the road. Let me get closer. Sorry. Mainly Royal Enfields. Thank you. Royal Enfield here is like Harley in America. Anywhere you go, you can find a shop where somebody knows how to wrench and fix. But on a bigger scale, there's like in the billions of motorcycles over here of Royal Enfields. It's the holidays now, so every like there's so many tourists over here coming uh, to get cash from the ATMs. Every day at six around 6:30 in the evening, they come. Uh, the crew comes with all the cash. And they close the whole thing down, close everything down, and they stand with their guns. And then load in, load, don't let anybody in. So we're gonna wait for, for them to finish up. We'll, we'll take our millions out. Baby, wanna come say hello to us? Come on, say hello. She's just shy. She's just shy, that's the thing. She's just, she's a shy person. Very shy girl. Shy girl. Lifeguard is on his patrol. Baywatch.
Not sure it's the real deal, but it's pretty cool. Let's talk a little bit about uh, infrastructure. I'll show you a uh, typical road and I'll show you the sidewalk. This is the sidewalk right here. I'm walking on the sidewalk. I literally have to watch out for motorcycles running, running me over. I'm running, I'm walking in front of the traffic so I can see who's running me over. Yeah, that's a typical road. No sidewalks usually. Obviously in the villages, there's uh, infrastructure is not as good as in the big cities, but uh, rarely in the small towns, in the small villages, do you see a sidewalk. Now I'm on the sidewalk, which is pretty nice. just chilling early in the morning. There's no electricity for the last four hours. Very typical to, get, to have power out over here. Huh? The first part. Hey, Santa! Hey, Santa, what's up? Here's my new uh, YouTube subscriber. And I'm on board. We're going to Cary Beach to the, what is it, the, the ferry. Ferry, ferry. Ferry, yeah. Ferry. And from there, yeah. we're going to take the ferry to okay, Terracol Fall, Terracol oh, Fort. Oh, we're at the spot. This is where the ferry takes us. Uh, I guess to there. We'll be boarding it very soon. Pretty cool. This is Terracol Fort. That's this photo, uh, photo, uh, perfect spot. Just took a picture of us. Grab somebody, take a picture of us. Location? Yeah, the light is co comes from the back. It's uh, leftovers from the Portuguese era when the Portuguese were controlling and ruling this part of of Goa. They had forts all over the shoreline protecting against uh, incoming ships and entry points. And there's just like a, a river, the river we just crossed when we came with uh, the ferry. So strategic point. There's no, not a good view at all. It's terribly built. It's my tactician, my tactician daughter says it's not uh, tactically located. There's it no good view. It needs to be. It you, need, you need to see the, the ocean, the sea, incoming see incoming anything. enemy. You can't see anything. Look, there's a whole ocean over here. Wait,
啊。How ironic! How out of place it is to have falafel in India, but it's great falafel. Hello. Hello. Seven years ago, about, I traveled with my wife. She was my girlfriend at the time, and I had a pendant at the time. It was a tiger eye pendant. It was something like this. It was something like this. Wait a minute. So I decided, I you know, in memory of our trip, and you know, I want to have a ring with tiger eye. So they're custom making me uh, a ring now, silver ring with the tiger eye stone that I just chose. So he's literally gonna be working on it right now. Ah, oh, very nice. Good? Yes, and you? Next fine grit. Done with the stone itself. He's gonna send it out to as a workshop and they're gonna work on the silver on the placing of, uh, I size it size 10 and they're gonna work on it I never thought I'd do it but I'm gonna treat myself I'm gonna treat myself to fix it up a little bit Done. Boy, what an experience. I sat here for an hour. Gave me a 
trim, beard trim. Cut my hair, whatever's left of my hair. And then gave me a head massage. And the whole nine yards, what an experience. I just fell asleep in the chair. The whole thing cost me $5. But it's the experience, it's amazing. Go and he's zooming. <laughs> We just landed in Palulim, in a bit Chabad. Just landed in Palulim. Beautiful. Show you guys tomorrow. It's amazing. We just moved uh, to the, a resort. We just moved to a resort. It's called Palulim in India. It's on the beach. Uh, I've been staying on the beach anyway this whole time, but it's very cute little village on the beach you'll see a lot of nice scenes over here ha room is like really cool these cabins are really cool this is what it's all about in my opinion spending great time with you guys what's in the menu i'm gonna have a, a ch uh, cheese tomato toast and i'm gonna have a shake. I'm gonna have a banana strawberry Michael. shake. can't even explain, you have to be here to feel it. The two-wheel culture is it's just crazy over here. Everything is two wheels, because that's the means of transportation over here. And the Royal Enfield is the workhorse over here. Everywhere you go, it's a, an old, new scooter, motorcycle, Royal Enfield, anything. Go meet some family. Hey, buddy, what's up? Is this too close to a monkey? Look, there's another one, big one over there in the in the trees. Then there's the male right there, and the baby right there. I don't know. Chicken masala. It's my rice. Best dinner. The best dinner. That's the that's the real deal. You know it. You know it.
A lot of dogs here on this on the beach. Just wild dogs, very friendly. Just living on the beach. Right one over here with us. All over, really cool, nice little dogs. <laughs> Hello. Hey there. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going, buddy? Yeah, you good dog. Yeah. The sun just set over here in Palulin. Goa Palulin. Beautiful. You know, I've been uh, traveling around here and, uh, you know, just as, uh, as a developing third world country, a developing country, I have also haven't been into the big cities uh, at all. I've been pretty much in uh, villages, villages there, rural areas. And the main and most uh, significant thing that you can see is the infrastructure. It's a develop, developing infrastructure and it's, it's pretty bad. It's uh, pretty bad, but you can definitely see uh, effort put into it and money into the infrastructure itself. Well, that's very significant. You, you see the nicest people, by the way, the Indians are very, very nice people. Uh, it's a slow vibe. I mean, from what I've seen in the villages, people, you know, take things slow, take things easy, but the infrastructure is pretty, Pretty limiting over here. They look like happy dogs, you know? A friend over here. He's going for some food. <laughs> oh my God. She grabbed your food. <laughs> well, she's hungry too, right? Chase her. This is Honda's new CB, CB350. I don't know if it's coming to the States, but it's pretty cool. How many rupees this cost? The bike we just saw, the CB350, costs over here two and a half lakh. Two and a half lakh is 250,000 rupees, which is around $3,000. Right, left, right, left, together. It's last evening with Guy and Sean and Nikki and Abba in, uh, where are we? India. India, yeah. In Goa, in uh, Palulim Beach. Last dinner, final dinner. Sizzler, oh yeah, there you go. My sizzler, my chicken sizzler. Yummy, 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 yummy. Why? Oh, me, I'm in the mouth. Thank you. 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 Th